everyone! I have another process video for you today. Um, today I will be scrapbooking pictures of myself on a balance beam. Um, these were taken at a birthday party for a little girl. Um, and the adults were also allowed in the play area, so I decided that I'd try the balance beam out. And I had a fun time. So my boyfriend was able to capture some pictures for me um, while I was on it. So I'm starting off by backing up these photos with this blue wood grain paper. I'm using my paper trimmer to um, create a tiny border around the photo. I usually like to use the trimmer because it gives me a nice clean edge and I can save up the rest of the paper for another time. I chose blue because I was wearing a blue blazer that day and I thought even though it's a different shade of blue, it still brings out um, my the blazer color in the photo. From some of the other scraps that I had left over from previous pages, I decided to use the wood grain one. Um, it reminded me of um, the balance beam, so I thought it'd be a cute idea to put my two photos on a thin strip of the wood grain so it looks like I am still on the balance beam. And I cut it a little bit shorter than the 12 by 12 because I didn't want it to span the whole page. Um, I was debating whether to put my the two photos on opposite ends or together, but um, based on where I was in on the balance beam for these photos is where I thought would be appropriate um, assuming I am walking from left to right on the sheet. So I laid it out um, on top of each other because they were pretty uh, quick photos of me one after the other. Then I grabbed some of the ephemera from the Pink Paisley Cottage Farms that I had put in my kit. And I really like this doily, but I didn't really care for the rounded corners or the rectangular um, piece. So I decided to fussy cut out just the doily and use that as um, an anchor to the balance beam that I have on the page. And it's actually the perfect space for my title to um, be placed right there. I intend to save the other piece and use it for a later part in the layout. I also found this really cute tag that was part of one of my tag packs and it has these little buildings on it and it reminded me of that day because we were actually out in Brooklyn and they had these cute little buildings um, side by side so I thought that was a good um, icon to represent how we were out in the city and the buildings were tightly packed together. So now I am committing to my page and I'm putting down that wood grain along with the fussy cut of the doily. Um, as you can see I actually chose the color washed pink paisley pattern paper um, as my background paper. I really liked the soft colors and the watercolor effect it had. Um, I was able to play up um, the green even though I, I covered it up with my photos and ephemera. So now I am putting down my photos. I wanted to actually offset it a little more from each other, but I thought it was too far from the wood green strip of paper. So I just brought it back down and left it as is with a little tilt um, to my photos. And now that journaling card I thought was really perfect uh, for me to, you know, write my journaling on and the top portion with the heart um, for space to add a date. And right now I am using my Dear Lizzie Thickers to add my title, and my title is Balance. Not very creative, but I think it's very appropriate with the photo. In the beginning, I put my title in the middle of my doily, but what I really wanted was it to line up with the wood grain strip of paper. So I brought up the letters so that the, the upper portion of the, the letters would touch um, the bottom edge of the wood grain. Next, I grabbed some of the Studio Calico uh, word stickers 
and I'm looking through them to see which ones would be appropriate. And the first one I saw was play. Um, so I added that to the tag with the building graphics. And then I added um, that happened to the top of one of my photos. And then added that was fun to my journaling card. Now that I had identified my three places where I was going to add embellishment, I grabbed some of my bows that I had made with my Sizzix and added a little bit of dimension to my title, um, added another bow by the sticker that said that happened, and then another one right to the side of my journaling card. To add a center to my little bows, I used the dots from the thickers and it matched really well with the colors of my title. Now I have my roller date stamp and I'm going to stamp the date um, that we went to the birthday party uh, right over the hearts. And I used um, an Amy Tangerine stamp, roller date stamp. Now I picked up my old piece of ephemera uh, scrap and I decided to punch out some stars and use that on my layout. I punched out six um, but I only used three so I think I'll use the other three on another layout in the future. I really try to get the most out of my supplies so I never like to throw away any scraps that can still be used again. Now I'm going to start my journaling and with some computer magic I finished my journaling. So my journaling says, we went out to Brooklyn for her birthday, and we went to where she had classes. I had a fun time, and even though the play area was really meant for the kids, the adults were allowed in, and I decided to try the balance beam. At one point in my life, I had thought about being a gymnast, and that would be fun. It looked a little plain on the top for me, so I decided that I would take some of the wood green paper that I used to back the photos with and add a strip of it at the top of the page. To add a little detail, I decided to take my pen and make dashes on the edge so that it has a faux sewing look, as if I actually had done some stitching on it with some black thread. And then I knew something was still missing up at the top. so. I searched my ephemera box and saw the little strip of teal cameras and I thought it'd be another great addition to add just one little teal camera icon to the page. I added it to the upper right hand corner on top of the wood grain strip of paper and then I grabbed my Amy Tangerine heart enamel dots and decided to add some gray enamel dots around the page. Um, in the three areas to surround my photos. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like my page, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Hope you have a crafty day.